Hello, this is Heather Hoffman. Today I have a fun little birthday card um, with a funny sentiment and some dimensional paper piecing. I'm using uh, one of my favorite sentiment kits from Unity called Hugs, Kisses, and Birthday Wishes. It's the July 2017 sentiment kit. I've already colored um, my images using some Copics that um, I just showed on the screen there. Really simple coloring, not a lot of layering and detail. And I fussy cut out the owl with the one balloon and then just the other balloon. So I stamped it a total of three times. And I'm gonna quickly grab, I have some warm gray Copic markers. And a lot of times on these images, I like to add um, kind of a, a ground shadow underneath them. It just kind of grounds the image and makes it look a little more realistic. So before I adhere my other colored ones on, I'm just kind of building the color. Those are all starting with um, warm zero, then warm one, three, five, and I think seven, um, but basically just varying levels of, of grays work really well. You can also do the same thing with browns. And I kind of start with the lightest and then just build in more color and keep shading out. As you blend them out, it'll just kind of keep softening and adding to the shadow effect. And you might also notice um, the original image down there, even though I'm paper piecing, I still colored the entire image. And you'll see why here in a minute, because I'm gonna adhere it down with foam adhesive. That way you don't see just a white uncolored spot underneath poking out. It just gives it a little more of a finished effect because um, you'll be able to see the, um, the colored image underneath, but it just kind of adds to the 3D effect, adding a little bit of foam adhesive in there. And I love how it just kind of makes uh, the owl look like he's popping out at you and the balloons are floating a little further behind him. Um, like I said, just kind of a fun 3D effect on it. So I'm going to adhere that first one down um, and I'm carefully just lining it up as close as I can. And then once I attach that down, I'm gonna do, see that dimension there? Now I'm gonna do the same thing with that last balloon. I'm also gonna use foam adhesive on that one. You could quit with that first layer and just be good, but I wanted to add that one more little dimensional layer. You could use thinner foam adhesive if you want. This is just your standard Scotch foam tape. And there you can see that last one on there. And you can see that little bit of dimension. Now I wanted to add one more fun little detail and make that top balloon um, a little glossy and shiny. So I pulled out my glossy accents. You could use any um, dimensional gla uh, crystal glaze from Nuvo works really well. Um, and if you wanted, you could add um, glitter after this. You could also use a solid enamel um, accent or anything like that. I really like glossy accents and how easy it is just to fill in and let it all just um, flood that whole balloon and then once it dries it adds a really shiny crystally look that's just just fun it's just kind of hard to go wrong with that and then I'm gonna adhere that onto a green card base as you can see there in a minute and I thought I was done and then I realized you know I should add a little bit of that glossy accent just to the beak and the um, the little feet on there as well just for one more little tiny touch of a detail and there you go a fun funny birthday card to give to somebody um, with some fun dimension and layers. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.